Animals. Now, if you have an outdoor space, you know it was a refuge this summer. Tropical plants just make us feel like we're on vacation. So what do you do when the weather changes as it is now? Carson is here with the answer. Hey, Carson. Hey, Tracy. I feel like I'm on vacation hanging out in my greenhouse. <laughs> I got orange trees. I got lemons. It's amazing. You'd love it here. I sure would. I bet it's warm and beautiful and tropical feeling. But scrolling through Instagram this summer, Everyone bought tropicals to make their outdoors just feel like a resort. So I think many people can relate to viewer Farah T, who wrote to us. She says, Carson, please help. I want to bring my tropicals indoors. How do I make sure there aren't bugs? Can you help us, Cars? More people are bringing tropicals in now than ever before. In fact, Tracy, do you actually take your plants outside at all? I want this put on the record right now, Carson, because you know my situation with plants, but I bought two plants. Don't ask me if they're tropicals. They look very pretty. They are thriving. They are gorgeous. They're in my backyard. I think I need to bring those babies inside, so I am going to be listening and taking notes as well, but I've not done it in the past. Right. Well, it's definitely time to bring them inside. In fact, some people have already had enough cold weather that they've already brought their plants inside. So whether you're like Tracy or you've got plants that are already in the side of the house, there are a few things you need to do to ensure that there's no bugs happening in the outdoor spaces. So first of all, you want to spray with insecticidal soap. Now, insecticidal soap, you can get a pre-made insecticidal soap. What this does is it coats the shells of insects like aphids and thrips. It suffocates them so that they can't survive. If you are unable to go out and buy your own, insecticidal soap you can make it at home which is fantastic I like to use a mix of one and a half tablespoons of just a plain dish soap plant-based dish soaps are best avoid antibacterial and you're gonna add one and a half tablespoons of dish soap to 750 milliliters of water then what you're gonna do with this mix is you're gonna spray down your entire plant you're gonna soak the whole plant all the leaves everything and once you think you're done then I want you to pull back the branches and you're gonna spray down in here all like that soak the soil as well because many bugs will overwinter in the soil once your plant is completely soaked down this is the important part you want to cover it with a garbage bag so you're actually going to take a garbage bag and cover the whole plant just kind of like I've done here with this big one right beside me this whole plant is covered with a garbage bag over the pot as well the reason why you want to cover it with the garbage bag is it keeps the moisture in the insecticidal soap wetter in there longer which means the insects have a more likelihood of actually coming in contact with insecticidal soap and being killed off now if you don't have a clear garbage bag like this one you can use a black garbage bag totally fine just remember when you put the garbage bag on the plant the plant can't sit in the sunlight in fact it has to stay in the garbage bag for three days so if it's in a black garbage bag it's going to bake the plant let's not do that clear garbage bag perfect we're gonna put it against the house in a shady spot maybe in the garage after three days we're gonna take the bag off your plant is gonna look amazing covered in beautiful flowers and leaves but no bugs then there's a few things you want to remember at this time of year we're not going to fertilize no fertilizers on your plants because they're actually going to go into a dormant stage and when it comes to watering you want to reduce your watering as well take it down to about three quarters of what you were doing when it was outside and finally Tracy I've got one just for you you want to take a little coconut oil and you're Ooh. going to put coconut oil just like this yeah smells fantastic you're going to put it on the leaves of the plant coconut oil is actually a great way to shine the leaves to clean all the dust off from outside I mean come on what's not good with coconut oil on it look at that beautiful already uh, just one more use for coconut oil I didn't think I could find another <laughs> place to use coconut oil okay so a couple of things that was a lot of information um, when you're doing the spraying down you're doing that outside and you're putting the garbage bag hopefully a white one outside in a shady area right that's not inside the house yeah you can do it inside if the plants are already inside it's fine just remember insecticidal soap is literally just dish soap and water so as long as you're in an area that's not going to ruin the floor certainly do the whole plant inside but if you can do it outside I mean that's less of a mess so that's even easier okay good stuff Carson okay another viewer Carol M had an issue with a bug I've never heard of Carson Japanese beetles destroyed my beans this summer are they new yeah that's a real problem across the country Japanese beetles are infesting the plants and what's the real problem with this particular bug is yes it's come from overseas so it doesn't have any natural predators that will eat them here in our area so there's a really easy technique and it's gonna surprise you 
Get out your handheld vacuum cleaner. Really? This is one of the only times that I'm going to say, yeah, go out and vacuum your plants. <laughs> Japanese beetles cluster on the plants. They cover the whole plant. So you can actually vacuum them right off. Just remove the beetles into the chamber of your little vacuum cleaner. Then what you're going to do is take the chamber, open it up, and dump it into a bucket of soapy water. It's going to kill off all the beetles. It sounds odd, but it's the most environmentally friendly way to get rid of a real pest. I'm laughing because I'm just picturing my family watching me put coconut oil on any every leaf on my plant and then vacuuming the plants. So be like, who are you? Great advice. Thanks, Carl.